if you get diagnosed with any cancer, one of the first things that your family or friends are going to say is, well, what stage is it? Right? Because we're sort of built on this solid tumor model where whether it's breast cancer or lung cancer or colon cancer, if it's confined to one area, it tends to be more treatable. But as it's spread, it goes to higher stage. So, you know, stage two breast cancer means it's gone a certain distance. Stage three distance, to stage four means it's metastatic and it's spread to other places. Myeloma is a bit more complicated because we're liquid to begin with, right? So we're circulating everywhere. So it's not so much a proximity distance. So over the years, we've developed different staging systems. And it's no wonder that in lymphoma and leukemia and myeloma, the three blood cancers, we keep changing our staging systems because, as, 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 because it's just not an easy thing to do. The solid tumor doctors look at us and say, we've had the same staging system for 50 years. You guys keep changing yours every, every couple of years. Again, that's not to make light of it, but it's just to say it's complicated. So I would be less concerned about the formal stage as much as what are your cytogenetics in terms of have they put you in the standard risk bucket or the high risk bucket? Um, and that's generally how we look at it because that does have implications for treatment.